to another mini tutorial from UPVC Spares for Repairs. Today, um, after we've had a number of uh, requests from customers, I'm going to show you how to deglaze a door panel and reglaze the door panel uh, to replace a, a faulty door panel or broken, damaged, or uh, uh, just simply worn out. So, there are two tools we normally use one is the uh, moon knife, and uh, the other one is a straightforward flat scraper. But this is a heavy duty scraper, unlike something like a putty knife, which really flexes too much. This has got a nice bit of uh, uh, stiffness with it to be able to get some prize, prize behind it. So you usually start somewhere by the handle or on the hinge side, inserting the um, scraper or the bead remover. And it allows you then to gently prise out the bead. And if you work your way down slowly, until you can see a gap appearing in the middle. Once you can see that, then you can just simply put the scraper in and slide up. I'll just get rid of the moon knife. Up and down. And that will then allow you to be able to pull out and release the piece of bead. And one of the tricks is to store them in the same position so that you know where they are and which side they belong to. Now we'll do the top one. Starting on the end and working the way across. We'll pop that down on the floor. And now the one down the right hand side. A little bit more awkward than the others. Start in the middle and see whether it comes out any easier. Nearly there. Now they're out, what we need to do is release the door panel by taking out what are normally in the corners, the packers. So again using the side of the scraper, if you get in there, gently ease them out. It's worth keeping those in order as well. It appears that they've only put two in there and the bottom, they're loose. So that should release it, which it has. So to lift it out and pop it safely on one side, and then you can check around that there's no damage or anything like that ready for replacing with the new panel. And we'll show you how to uh, level those up in the next section. So to reglaze the door, going back to my apprentice days, which are a good number of years ago, there was always um, a slotted type packer, which allows water to travel underneath it that gets through past the gasket on the door. So the idea is that you place this one here on the hinge side first, and I'd usually just put a, a couple of small dots 
of silicon there. This doesn't cover the whole of the area, so water can pass round it and sometimes can get through underneath. So that goes in just level with the front of the gasket that's on the door. So as you're looking down, that's where it sits. The next ones that we fit are the standard packer, which is fitted to the hinge side. One directly opposite the handle, which stops the door flexing if it's been prized to be opened. And the third one goes at the bottom, below the handle, but never on the bottom of the door sash. And I'll explain the reason for that in a moment. So those are in place, and those are not the uh, packers that will squeeze the door tight, they're just the base packers to work from. We now offer the remaining packers in place um, which go two at the top on the one on the side and one on the head and the other side one on the side only to start with so I'll just do those quickly and then we'll come back to you so we've now fitted the ones in the center two here one there and one down by the handle opposite the other one at this other side of uh, the hinge side. And the final one I'll pop in is on the head. So we've now got all the packers in place and I'll just reiterate once more, we don't put any packers on the base below the handle. And now, of course, you will have cut your new panel to size, ready for putting in, um, equal distance as you had on the old one. And this is what we'll do. We'll offer it into the door frame first. And then you'll find that there'll be need to pack equally all around, again, off the base packers that you've fitted um, to centralise it and then I'll explain them why we don't put anything at the bottom. So working our way around we can see that it's going to need one or two more packers in to centralise. So I'll bring this one over slightly, pop one in there. If you start at the bottom, it's usually the best place. And all the packers, different colours and different thicknesses. So you can select what you require by the gap that's left. So in this instance I'm putting one white one and one black one in as well as the blue one and on this side that's equalized that we'll deal with the centers later but the one that's most crucial now we've got firm positions at the bottom in the corner but here this is the one where you centralize and level the door so by offering the packers in at the head Sometimes it's necessary to lever the door up slightly. Also, one of the tools that's uh, used at this juncture is the uh, glazing paddle. And the idea of the glazing paddle is you rest the front edge, which is the sh chamfered edge, on the top of the uh, door panel. That allows you then to be able to prise upwards, which raises this section and allows you to put the final packer in, which just takes the stress off the panel and that because you've got no packers at the bottom because you're lifting this up it's allowed to move because there's no packer below so now what we'll do is 
we'll pack the sides so that if anyone attempts to uh, move the handle across, it's jammed. It's as tight as it can possibly be. So we just need two packers to go in there. Two packers to go in at this side. And that's just taken the slack out of the door. It's not made the door belly out, which is something you've got to be careful that you don't do. That has got to run parallel. Now, one of the things that uh, I've always been a big believer in is if this door is used on a regular basis and it gets banged and banged and banged, the likelihood could be that the packers could come loose and drop, which is totally taking the, the, the cause for using them out completely. So what I've always tried to do is insert a small amount of silicon seal underneath the block of packers on any of them that are sitting vertical. Horizontal it doesn't matter. Vertical it's important. So that I'll also do uh, and then we'll come back to you then for beading up. So that's where we've put the silicon just underneath the uh, packers helps keep them in place and now we'll fit the beads back in again. Uh, carefully inserting the uh, little leg into the groove that's here and using a, a nylon mallet, best recommended. Gently tap it in. I've already fitted the bottom one, as Barry Bucknell would say, of those people that can remember him. And now we just put a slight bend on the uh, side bead, tap it in and push up slightly. And the same at the bottom. And then offer the bead into place. That one in, and now for the right hand. Some people sometimes say it works a little bit better if you use a little bit of silicone spray, which I don't think is a bad idea. Working down from the top. There goes one of the packers just to catch me out. And that's the panel fitted. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching.